Hey everyone, Abet Flashback here, and today I'm testing out a Dreamcast emulator for the Nintendo Switch running the Laka operating system on firmware 3.00 or 5.02. So let's check this out. For those of you not familiar with what Laka is, I did talk about that in one of my previous videos and I did an install guide, so you can check out that video down below in the description. So at this point, there's not a whole lot of people talking about Laka on the Switch, which kind of surprises me, because now we have access to a whole lot of new emulators such as Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, and much more. And right now, Laka has a couple big issues. We have no audio support or battery calibration, but we're hoping to get this fixed here soon with a future update. So I'm gonna keep you up to date as this Laka operating system evolves because it's just gonna keep getting better. There's also another YouTuber out there and you might've heard of him, ETA Prime, and he's covering this subject as well. So you can watch my videos and his videos to learn as much as you can about this Laka operating system. So to load Dreamcast games, I was not able to do that from the main menu. I had to go to the first tab, then to load content. Then I had to search that SD card and find the ROM directory. And inside there is where all my ROMs are that's also where my Dreamcast games are. And to give you a heads up, this emulator is running really, really slow. We're gonna test out Sonic Adventure 2 first. And something else I'd like to mention to get your Dreamcast games working, you are gonna have to place the Dreamcast BIOS inside of a certain folder. This is using the Redream emulator for Dreamcast. And you will have to rename the Dreamcast BIOS to boot in flash. And the dot bin is gonna be the format it's already in. Then inside the system slash DC directory is where we're going to put our BIOS. And to access the system folder, we can do that through a network connection or through FileZilla. Once you're inside that system folder, you're going to make a DC folder. And inside there is where the BIOS is going to go. Okay, let's boot Sonic Adventure 2. And we are off to a very slow start. And I have tried playing with the GPU overclock settings on Laka and I'm not really having any luck. I don't see any difference with the game speed. So if I speed this up by about four times, that's about where it should be, just to give you an idea of how slow it is running. And of course, there's no audio, but I do expect that to be corrected here soon. I bet within a month we have some audio. So obviously it's running really slow, but it does seem to be running smooth. So when I push the buttons, it reacts like it should. Just everything is in slow motion. The analog stick on the joypad seems to be working great, along with the trigger buttons and various other controls. So let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here so we can see the picture better. And let's try to hit a jump here. And we should have some serious hang time, especially with as slow as it's going here. But it is taking forever just to get to the jump. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. That's some pretty serious hang time. Come on, come back down. Yeah, it really made it seem like he was high because how long that took. Let's go ahead and speed that up by four times just to show you the speed it should be at. And see, it seems to be running really smooth just speeding up by four times still. And back to regular speed on this emulator anyway. So I have tried playing with various different settings, trying to get this to perform just a little bit better, but haven't had any luck. But we will be getting updates for this emulator, along with Laka updates, so this is only gonna improve. And I know it's running really, really slow, but I'm still really impressed with the performance so far. And they did test out a handful of games, and they all seem to have about the same result. They run at about a quarter of the speed they should. Okay, let's try out some Soul Calibur. I'm about to land a kick, but for some reason I missed. Hmm. Oh, I didn't miss that one. And give me about 10 seconds and I'll land another kick. Here we go. Missed. No, I got her. The back foot got her. Let's see that in regular speed. See, that's four times the speed. A lot different. Ah, oh, she got me. Ah, oh, that looks really painful. Ah, oh, and I hit my head on the way down. Ouch. Well, I guess I'm done. All right, guys, gotta go. If you liked that video, click that like button. If you wanna hear more from me, please subscribe. And if you wanna help support the channel, you can now find me on Facebook and Patreon. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.